Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video that I have done twice before on this channel and it seems to go well each time and it's something I like to share with you guys because I find it helpful. I'm going to talk about TV shows that I've watched since basically the last video I did. If you haven't seen the other two videos, uh, one was from over a year ago and the other one was just under a year ago I feel. But basically I just talk about TV shows I've watched to tell you guys what to watch. <laughs> I watch a lot of TV so this is right up my street and I can talk about this stuff for ages so the first video had 20 in the second video had 20 in and this one I believe has about 27 so you know I've watched a lot more. <laughs> watch the other videos first if you want to know other TV programs that I've watched in case I didn't mention it in this one because I'm not going to repeat myself. Anyway, long intro, I'm just going to get straight into talk about the TV shows I have watched. So the first one I have written down is Degrassi. I had no idea I hadn't mentioned this one before, but I love it. Like, it's one of my favourite shows ever. I'm re-watching it currently, that's why I was surprised that it was on here, because obviously I watched- I started watching this, like, this time last year, so it's been a while since I've done the last TV show video. Degrassi is basically about a load of teenagers in high school. Uh, it started off, like, years and years and years ago. Like, I couldn't even tell you when it began, but it's got, like, a lot of seasons and episodes but the ones I've been watching is Next Generation and the one on Netflix. The one that is not on Netflix is definitely my favourite. It has like some of my favourite characters, Eli Goldsworthy who I fancy the absolute pants off of which is the main reason why I watch it so much. It's just full of teenage dramas such as pregnancies, depression, eating disorders, uh, bullying, <laughs> It covers like every single transgender, gay, bi, like everything. It covers like everything. Um, I just think it's an amazing program. It's been running for so, so long and I can see why personally. I mean like this stuff I absolutely love. If you watch my other two videos, you know I love this kind of stuff. And it's one of my favorite shows. So um, I do suggest watching it. If you don't know where to find it, just Google it. You can't find it on a website you can usually find. But maybe tweet me and I might be able to send you the link. <laughs> God, I can't even tell you. There's like 40 episodes per season and think there's about 16 seasons. You're good. <laughs> so the Netflix show does have people from the show before. It basically got dropped and Netflix like picked it up again. Uh, go watch it. It's really good. <laughs> The second one I have written down is Project Runway. Uh, Project Runway kind of speaks for itself. America's Next Top Model, uh, what other ones do they have? Like MasterChef, you know, like that kind of stuff. But it's to do with fashion design, so they have little tasks every day to make a piece of clothing to do with the theme elements or something like that. It's just that basically, and I really, really enjoyed it. I love that kind of stuff every now and then. I can only watch a few seasons, otherwise it does get a little bit repetitive and boring, but I really did enjoy it as I was watching it. I think I watched about three seasons before I got a little bit bored because it was so repetitive, but there is lots of seasons and I believe it's on Netflix. So yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, I definitely suggest it. It's really fun to see how much like style has changed over the years as well, uh, but yeah. The next one I have is 13 Reasons Why which I'm sure you've all heard about. It was like a huge thing, a huge thing when it first came out. And personally, personally, I know a lot of people didn't like it. I really, really liked it. Um, 13 Reasons Why, if you don't know what it is, it's about a girl who has committed suicide and she's left tapes for Clay, I think his name is. Uh, I can't remember, it's been so long. Uh, but left tapes for him about 13 Reasons Why she did it. And it's all addressed to different per people. Obviously, I don't agree with the fact of blaming someone else and making them feel bad. Like, I don't agree with that. But I liked the fact that they didn't sugarcoat some really dark scenes. It can be very, very triggering. So if you don't like, uh, if you get triggered by obviously suicide, uh, self-harm, uh, sexual abuse, then obviously do not watch it. Like, please, please, please don't watch it. Uh, but for me, I just liked the fact it was so raw and they didn't hide anything and they just showed the ugliness of it instead of making it look all like 
Ah, I did personally enjoy it. I watched it within a day. I really, really got into it. And I read part of the book. I'm not a book reader, so uh, I kind of forgotten about it a little bit. But I did really like it personal opinion. The next one I have is You, Me, Her, which is another Netflix series. Netflix have been coming out with those series this year and I've been loving it. So You, Me, Her is about a married couple who come across a S escort, I think she is. I can't quite remember. She's like one of those type of things. <laughs> and uh, basically they both fall in love with her and it becomes like a three-way thing. It's just, it's funny, it's interesting, and I just really liked it. However, there is a second season and I didn't want to watch the second season. Uh, the first season I enjoyed, but I saw the second season and I was like, you know what, I'm all right, we're not watching the second season. So I actually haven't watched the second one, but the first one I did really enjoy and I thought it was quite a bit of a different thing and it was a little bit fun. Then we have Friends With Better Lives, which kind of goes along that same kind of route of the style that the other one was, but this one got cancelled after one season. But you know what? I'm fine with it <laughs> because it was enough for me, really. It was just about a group of friends, a bit like How I Met Your Mother, but without the like really long series. <laughs> That's how I describe it in my mind. It's a little bit more updated if that is the right thing to say. I just think it's a little bit updated from How I Met Your Mother. So it's just a group of friends who date different people or each other or. I can't I don't know. It was it was fun. It was nice to watch. But you know what? I'm not mad that it finished on one season. I then have Full House. Right, you know what? I loved this show so much. I know it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. I never watched it before and I know Fuller House is on Netflix, so I started watching the first episode and I was like, what is happening? I don't understand any of this because obviously it was a follow-up to Full House. So basically Full House is about uh, like four guys or three guys. Oh, as you can see, my memory's not that good. About like grown men looking after these three girls. Four, three girls, yep, I forgot. The uh, awesome twins were not actually twins in it. They were the same person. You know what? This show made me like kids. I'm not a kid person, but I fell in love with them. Like, they were the cutest things. They were amazing at what they were doing. And I just absolutely loved it. I was obsessed with it. I just wanted to watch it the whole time. And when it finished, I was so upset because I was just so, so into it. Uh, there's not really much else I can say. It's just about these kids who were like four, five-ish, growing up until they're about 17 which is really nice to see because it's actually the kids growing up and I really like that and then the next one I have on there is Fuller House it's not half as good as Full House because I don't know it's just it's a Netflix version which I don't hate at all but it's just a little bit like Disney Channel cheese and it's okay but I prefer the first lot of Full House, which is completely understandable. I think everyone will agree with me on that. But I just like the fact Fuller House is the kids when they're older with their own kids. I just love the fact it has the same characters and you can actually see them when they're older and I love that kind of stuff. Like any re reunion of a show, I'm so for. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's those those ones. I definitely recommend them because I really, really enjoyed them. Then I have Girl Boss. Sadly, Girl Boss has been cancelled after one season. Uh, it was fine. I mean, like, it was fine. I wasn't obsessed with it. I didn't get really hooked. It was just something I watched in the background. It's basically about the girl who invented Nasty Girl, the uh, fashion website, which is really cool. It's really interesting, but you know, I'm not dying for a second season and I'm not really mad that it's been cancelled. Uh, it was just fine. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Then we have Dear White People. Oh, I liked this show a lot, again. Um, I've had a lot of shows I've liked this year. There hasn't been many I pressed on the gun. No, this is really bad. <laughs> Dear White People is basically about trying to make some people aware of racism. <laughs> Simple as, like, it is about this girl who has a radio show called Dear White People and she just tells them not to be racist basically because they put on a blackface party 
and they're all just trying to expose them and stuff. And it's full of comedy, it's full of humour, but it's also very serious on that kind of matter. And I think it's really, really good if you uh, don't quite understand. I know it sounds really stupid that some people don't understand like how someone could be racist, but if someone is, it's a good way of being like, just watch this show. Then I watched Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which is a musical TV show. I don't like musicals. <laughs> so actually, I skipped every single song in the whole season. Yes, I skipped every single song. About this girl who, <laughs> it sounds so stupid. She bumps into her ex, Josh. I can't even remember her name, but she bumps into her ex, Josh. And he's like, yeah, I'm living in LA now. So she quits her job and follows him to LA and starts her whole new life there just because her ex was there. And it's just about winning him back or stalking him. And it's just a bit of fun. It's funny, it's silly. And it's a really like upbeat, happy thing to watch. So if you're looking for something really happy to watch, maybe watch that. And if you like musicals, then go for it. However, if you do skip all the music, you're not missing anything, don't worry. I then watched the original. I preferred to The Vampire Diaries because it was more dark. It wasn't so, I'm in love, you know? It Like, I love that kind of stuff usually, but I think the whole vampire thing, it never really took to me. So the originals was really, really good. It was a lot more dark. It was a lot more interesting. Basically, it was about the original family of vampires. So the first ever vampires that still live. They're basically invincible. And it's just about them. <laughs> uh, and then you get like Stefan coming in every so often. You get someone else coming in, like Caroline. And it's really nice to see like the shows cross over. I really liked that. And yeah, I definitely suggest it. It made me cry quite a few times. I think there's only like one season left and I'm, it's definitely one that I'm going to press on as soon as I see that it's been uploaded. We then have Shadowhunters. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I watched the whole of Shadowhunters because you guys all told me how good it was and I got hooked, but I don't know why because the acting was so awful. Like, <laughs> It's probably the worst acting I've ever seen on a TV show, ever. However, I like the fact they have an asexual character in it. I mean, I really like that, because no one does that, and if you didn't know, I'm asexual, so... Uh, well, I'm demisexual, but it goes under the same radar. Anyway, um, <laughs> I really, really like the fact they added that in, because, like, other TV shows... <coughs> <laughs> Riverdale. Um, they also have asexual characters, but they don't include them. So it was really nice to see that there is an asexual character. It's about um, shadow hunters with weird tattoos all over them, which I don't really get. Um, and they're really ugly. <laughs> and um, there's like werewolves, vampires, and they're trying to fight them if they're bad. I don't, I don't really know the concept. They're just really beautiful people. <laughs> That's like, it's like, you know, the Vampire Diaries, they're all beautiful people. It's like that, but with worse acting. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you love the show and you're hating me right now. I did enjoy it and I watched the whole thing. I just, the acting was so bad. <laughs> Next, I have Atypical, which is another show that was a little bit controversial for some people. So Atypical is about a boy, I don't know how old he is, I think he might be 16, 17 in it, um, with, well he's on the uh, autism, autis, yeah, autism spectrum, I had to make sure I got that right. Um, a lot of people didn't like it, but also a lot of people did like it. I personally loved it, but I also don't really know much about autism. Uh, I know a few people with it, but I don't know much about it. And I like, I know it's definitely probably not 100% <laughs> uh, real, you know, like a good representation of it, but it's all very different for different people and stuff like that. However, I enjoyed the program personally. I thought it was a little bit of fun. Um, it was full of laughs, not at him being autistic, like nothing like that. It was just a lot of fun. It's about, yeah, a boy with autism, but he's trying to discover what love is basically. And I just thought it was really sweet and it was fun. And I did actually really enjoy it. I know that might be controversial to other people, 
but I did enjoy it. And if you want something feel good, then maybe give it a watch. If you're not comfortable with it, then don't watch it. But uh, yeah, I quite liked it, but I definitely know not to think everyone with autism is like that, if that makes sense. Now the next show I have is The Mist, which honestly, I forgot I watched <laughs> until I looked at this list. And basically The Mist is another Netflix show, you know, yay, more Netflix shows. I think this all is basically Netflix shows. I've watched a lot. Uh, the Mist is about the mist that like take over, takes over like part of America or the whole world, I'm not really sure, it just shows you like one part and it's just following lots of different characters throughout this mist which basically is, it's based on a Stephen King novel which obviously if you watch it and stuff it's kind of on that kind of lines of stuff but I don't personally think it was very scary, uh, I don't think it goes under the that category but it was a little bit gruesome uh it's just like people's fears are in this mist and it kind of like attacks them and takes them i don't really know what it's about or how it ended how did it end i don't really know what else to say it was just fine <laughs> then we have american vandal which sounds really like edgy <laughs> But actually, it's just, it's so funny. It's the most stupid thing you will ever watch. Like ever, it is a Netflix series. But it's about this boy <laughs> who's been expelled from school for drawing um, dicks onto all the car park, all the cars in the car park. And it's about a documentary of trying to find out who actually did it and it's so funny and I really enjoyed it, me and my boyfriend watched it together because it was just so stupid but we were always like let's watch it, I want to watch it, I want to know who did, who drew the penises, you know? <laughs> it sounds so stupid but it was like done as if it was an actual crime show, like a crime documentary but about someone drawing penises on cars and I just thought it was the best thing, it was such a good idea and I fully enjoyed it. So if you want something really funny and stupid to watch, that is definitely 100% the thing I would recommend to someone because it's so, like, it draws you in, but for such a weird and stupid reason. <laughs> but yeah, watch that, it's funny. <laughs> Next one I have is Greenhouse Academy. This is the cheesiest one of them all on this list of the one I have today. <laughs> if you know on my first one I said the word cheesy a lot. Sorry, still get comments about that. <laughs> Disney Channel style, so you know, it's very cheesy, very childish, but I really liked it in a weird way. Like, I, I didn't like it, but I also liked it at the same time. It's about these two kids who, are, who go to this weird school full of like science and stuff, but they don't do like proper lessons. And I, they just like in teams and they fight against each other. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm definitely not selling it to you. Um, it's just the main guy looks like one of my friends from college and it really booked me the whole time. If you like cheesy and a bit of romance and a bit of like Disney Channel style, definitely for you. It's on Netflix again, so go watch it. I then have American Horror Story Cult because on my first one I did mention the other American Horror Stories but you know, it's a new season and each season is kind of like a new show with the same title with the same character, no actors, but different characters, yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about it. So, I like it. It's the first American Horror Story I've liked since Coven. So, you know, I've tried every single one of them and I just couldn't get into it, but I've actually got into Cult. I haven't finished watching it. I've kind of forgotten what episode I'm on, so I don't really know how to finish it because I don't want to spoil anything but it's about Sarah Paulson who is a character, I can't remember her name, uh, she's a gay woman in, in the American world of today and Donald Trump has been elected president. Oh my god, horror, it's actually real, that's the really disturbing thing. Since then all her like anxiety is coming back up so you know the holes Oh, tell me if you've got that as well because I do and I don't, it made me feel really uncomfortable every so often it would come on the screen. I'd be like, no, no, go away. It's in my head now, I can see it in my head. Also clowns, so it's about a load of killer clowns and I've really gotten into it. There's actually a storyline this time which they've been lacking a little bit of in the last series, I felt. Um, so 
I really enjoyed it and Eva Pe Evan Peters has a bigger role even though he's a Trump supporter and everything in it I like the fact he has a bigger role because he deserves it in my opinion again but yeah I would definitely give it a go if you liked the first I, mm, not the first season maybe like the second season and the third one if you liked those I'd probably give it a shot so next I have The Good Place which I urge you all to go watch uh, me and Joey again have been watching it and the second season or is it the third one? I can't remember uh, There's a new season coming out every single week on Netflix. I think it's another Netflix series, which is amazing um, And we've been watching it and it's amazing. It's about uh, Eleanor who is Christian Bell who is amazing <laughs> Uh, she goes, she dies basically, and she goes to the good place and she meets uh, Michael who designed the whole place and Chidi and it's just so silly and fun and it's so light-hearted and bright and it's really really good to watch. If you want something happy, watch it. It's amazing, everyone is so good in it and it's just such a stupid program like the concept of it and everything I don't you understand once you watch it but yeah I definitely urge you to go watch that one I really do enjoy it and me and Joey anytime that a new episode comes out we're like let's watch it because it's really really good so I think this season though if you're watching it as well you'll probably get it it feels like they've kind of gone we didn't have another idea for this so we're just gonna have to like <laughs> try and do something with it that's how I feel that it's gone but it's still fun and light-hearted to watch so have carnage next I have Big Mouth if you've watched this again it's another Netflix show um it's about a cartoon cartoons oh my god they terrify me I can't watch cartoons however for some reason I watched this <laughs> Big Mouth is about two guys who are hitting puberty and they're basically discovering themselves and all things around that matter so yes, it gets very dirty. <laughs> it's about like the hormone monster and mistress and bubble bits and all. <laughs> it's so silly, but I really suggest you go watch it if you want something like that, like a Rick and Morty type thing. If you like Rick and Morty, I think you might like this as well. It's just very, very dirty, like <laughs> really dirty. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> we are coming towards the end of our list now. We've only got a few left. But we have That 70s Show. I'm probably the last person on the earth to watch it. But if you haven't watched it, I suggest you watch it. Again, it's on Netflix, so yay, you can watch it. It's about these teenagers who obviously live in the 70s and there's Eric and Donna and you just follow them. But it's basically only in Eric's basement. But it's really fun and again, really lighthearted if you want something that you can laugh at. As you can see, I haven't watched many dark things this year. I've been all about wanting to watch things that make me happier, not sadder. I was upset when I ended. It was a really, really bad ending um, and bad last season. So maybe skip the last season because I really don't think it's worth it. But other than that, it's really, really good. And I love Kitty. Kitty's probably my fave. Next we have Dynasty, which I think is how you say it. Um, it's a new show on Netflix. It has... Um, What's her face from Victorious, the, the uh, emo girl? God, I can't remember people's names. I'm really bad, sorry. I liked her. I liked her in Victorious and I wanted to see her act more. She's in this rich family and her dad's just married to this woman who was seeing another guy at the same time. And it's just about like, trying to be each other in the business world. I don't really know how to describe it again, but it's just, witty and sassy and I just really like her which is the reason I watched it. So now I have Stranger Things 2 which is a recent thing that has come out but loved it. I really really enjoyed it. I know uh, Joey wasn't too much of a fan of it, my boyfriend, if you didn't know. Um, he wasn't too much of a fan of it. We watched it together. He thought it was really different to season one, which I do agree with. I thought it was very different to season one. However, I really enjoyed it because it wasn't as dark and gloomy and it was a little bit more fun. You could tell that the kids had more freedom of what they were doing in it. Everyone now loves Steve Harridan and oh my God, guys, Billy in it. If you uh, like haven't seen him without his awful mullet thing, 
he's beautiful. <laughs> Personally, my favourite, the people who stole the show for me was uh, Gayton. I think that's how you say his name. I'm so sorry if it's not. And also Will. I don't know his real name. This is, I've just swapped around names. Um, yeah, they definitely stole the show for me. Uh, Gayton was just incredibly cute and like pulled my heartstrings so much during the whole entire season. And Will was just like, Here's my acting skills, guys. Here it is, and I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, I thought that I'd add that in because, again, it's like a new thing, so I thought I'd give my opinion on it. I thought it was really good. Definitely go watch it. I'm sure you all have. I mean, like, who hasn't watched Stranger Things now? I don't know. We're almost there. Now we're on Riverdale season two. But, you know, it's still really cheesy. <laughs> uh, Riverdale, I saw a tweet the other day, and I was like, you know what? This just sums it up. They were like, why is Riverdale so bad, but I'm still wanting to watch it every single week? Because honestly, I think the cast is amazing. Like it's nothing to do with them. I think the cast are really, really good. I think it's just very cheesy. And I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I hate it, but I love it as well. So it's about a load of teenagers who live in a town called Riverdale I kind of remember what happened in the first season. Oh yeah, um, Cheryl Blossom's brother has died and they don't know who killed him. And it's basically, you found out who that is and stuff. And now we're on to the second season where there is the Black Hood who is like shooting people and killing people and stuff. And <laughs> it's, it's kind of turned into a murder mystery kind of thing, which, you know, I don't hate, but it's just very cheesy and I hate it, but I also want to watch it every single week. It's really weird. I think it's the fact I liked the car I like the cast so much uh, that I'm going back and watching it every single week. It's one of those things where you really don't know if someone's gonna love it or hate it. I know Joey doesn't like it, he thinks it's awful. And then we're on to our last thing, which I feel like is really boring now that I've like read it and I'm like, oh, this is the last thing I'm talking about, is Zumbo's Desserts, I think it's called, or something like that. It's new on Netflix. It's an Australian like baking show. They make desserts, obviously. And again, it's kind of like the Project Runway kind of vibe. And it's just little tasks of making desserts. And I just think it's amazing what people can do. So if you think that's your kind of thing, I would definitely suggest it. It's a little bit like uh, Australian MasterChef, but with desserts. So yeah. I really enjoyed it and I'm glad the person who won won. That is the end of another TV show video from me. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that way I know whether you like these videos and I can definitely start making a new list once I start watching some more things and telling you about them and telling you whether to watch them or not. <laughs> also comment down below what TV shows you've been absolutely loving or you think I should try out that I haven't mentioned in videos before. Everything I've mentioned will be in the description so in case you missed uh, what I said the name was or you don't have to spell it or anything it will all be written down below. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because I upload quite a few times on this channel and it just lets you know when I've uploaded a new video, especially if I upload more like this, it lets you know when I've uploaded them. Also make sure to check out the other two videos if you're still stuck on ideas and you've watched all these like me, I've watched everything now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you again very soon.